Okay, now we're doing a single arm dumbbell press, kneeling on the ball. So, you'll need a well inflated ball, which actually this one is not, this is a bit squishy. Um, again, do a warm up set and then do 10 reps on each side with your working weight. I'm suggesting probably 10 pounds is a good working weight for you to start with. You might want to do like five, six, seven pounds to start with as a warm up. So you get on the ball like so, remember wide knees, put the hands on the ball, roll forward till you feel you're on the sweet spot of the ball, get upright, and then you're just doing a straight uh, overhead press like so, 10 reps with one arm, like that. The exact speed I'm doing, one up, one down. Okay, so make sure you're going straight up and down and switch arms and straight up and down with the other arm. It's helpful to have a mirror in front of you. Okay, now from the side, note how straight I am. A lot of people do this. You don't want to be like this with your ass stuck out behind you. Get upright, hips forwards. Straight up and down like that. So there's a straight line from my ear to my shoulder to my hip line to my knee. This is no good to you. You've got to be right on top of the sweet spot of the ball, completely vertical. Okay? So 10 reps with one arm and then 10 with the other. And the goal, rather than increasing the reps, the goal is to gradually get heavier as time goes by. Both of these programs, by the way, are not circuits, unlike last time. These are, you do however many sets you're going to do of one particular exercise, then you go to the next exercise. It's like station training rather than circuit training. So aerobically, it's much less challenging, but the flip side of that means that you can push harder because you can push heavier weights because you get much more recovery compared with the work time.